just say it's a majmoa. I haven't seen much of him, but I know he dropped 30 on Bristol, so that's going to be fun for us. And you know, we just can't wait to get out there. What do you kind of make of this spring when there were all these recruits that, I mean, I'm sure a lot of guys are familiar with, too, from that play with them, all seem to pick a different school. Yeah. I mean, what did you kind of think of how that, were you surprised that that was kind of the case for a while? Um, you know, I, I, it was surprising that um, they went, everybody went to different ways, but, you know, some guys want to you know, make their own path, and, you know, that's what they're trying to do, and, you know, they're just taking straight that same decision, so, you know, we just have to worry about our team, and, you know, play good. I think the Cal kind of, I mean, sort of reestablished himself as, like, the king a little bit when he got to know the other day. I don't uh, know, a lot of people were surprised by it, yeah. I guess. Oh, I, I don't know if he reestablished himself, I don't think he, you know, being who he is, has to reestablish Stop by a little bit just to you know, show our faces, sign a couple other guys with his kids. Um, you know, it doesn't really take much to make someone's day, so you know, we just came out here to do that. All right, you know, obviously the draft was last night. Yeah. Saw your boy Devin Booker go. Right. Uh, just talk about uh, seeing Devin, man, and dreams come true. Uh, yeah, it's a great feeling for me and him, you know. You know, that's my boy, so I'm happy for him. Uh, he's out in Phoenix. I wanted him to be in Miami with the weather, go out and visit him, but you now I'm really happy for him. He worked hard for it. Um, coming into college, he didn't really think he was a one down player, but you know, he worked throughout the year and just kept playing and you know, stuck with it and just believed in Cal and he did what he had to do. Uh, obviously, Carl was number one. Do uh, you think it's a good fit for him, and what do you think about Carl? Um, I think Carl's a great player. You know, he's, he's one of the best players I've ever seen. You know, I knew Carl was going to be number one to pick when he first came in. You know, I always told KP and everybody how good he was and stuff, man. No, Carl just does a lot of special things that he actually didn't get to show this year. Um, the other guys like Trey and, uh, you know, the Andrew, they got drafted as well. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about uh, how they're going to fit in and some of the teams over there? Um, Trey, I feel like Trey, he's so versatile. He'll fit in anywhere, you know. He can play the three, he can play the four, you know. He's going to be a great player. Uh, he's got a great mid-range game, and he can post up smaller people. And then Andrew, I feel like he's a lot better than everybody knows. Um, he went to Memphis, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great fit for him uh, with Conley there. And, you know, he can come in and back him up. And, you know, he's a big body. He's a great point guard. And, you know, he's more of a point guard than people know, playing against him in practice every day. Um, I feel like he's going to be good. You know, Aaron didn't get drafted, you know. And It'll be a good thing for him because right. like, he can figure out where he kind of want to go. What do you see in his game? What do you think he needs to do to be able to make a squad? Um, he's a great player. You know, not being in school now, he can work on his game every day, all day. So you know, I feel like he's going to do nothing but get better. He's a great player, great scorer. And, you know, he, he can shoot the ball when when he's high. He can run the numbers up there. You know, he has big time shots, so I feel like someone's going to pick him up. You guys just landed Jamal Murray. Uh, how big was that? And uh, how do you think that backcourt? going to be with you and Briscoe? Um, that's, that's that's very big for us because, you know, it gives us another guard, uh, more depth. You know, last year we had 10 guys. Uh, we didn't know how many we were going to have this year. Me and Briscoe, you know, we, he, he's a crazy dude. You know, he's funny. So, you know, this year's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we've been playing with him in the backcourt. You know, I can't wait. Thanks to be a lot of pressure on you uh, to look to expectations, you know? Um, you know, I really don't believe in the pressure because, you know, I'm not trying to live up to anybody's expectations, just living up to mine and, you know, our team. So, and we're just going to try to do what we have to do and win the national title. This offseason been like this. Um, it's been great. You know, I've been trying to get stronger, bigger, and I just, you know, been working on my game, trying to get better so we can, you know, finish off what we didn't do last year. How much does your role change going into the next season? Have you even talked about that yet? Or be more of a leadership role? Um, yeah, it changes a lot because, you know, I, I was able to hide behind Andrew a little bit. More of the pressure was on him, so, you know, I'm the top point guard, and, you know, I just have to come out and play. I have to lead the team on and off the court, and I just I have to change a lot. You got a ton of new faces in there already. Have you, have you still played with everybody yet? What's, what's it been like meshing and trying to bond? Uh, yeah, we, we played all together, you know, but, you know, I played with Charles before and you know, all the other guys. Um, only people really knew was Michael. Um, and you know, tomorrow's not here yet, so you know everybody's gonna work out together, and you know, I like what we're doing right now. So you and Isaiah already got good chemistry. Yeah, that's my boy. You know, we've known each other for a while from camp. So, uh, he's real silly, childish. He's a girl a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you help him along a little bit, trying to shun the ropes. Yeah, I'm gonna try to shun the ropes. Just have him follow me. It's <laughs> 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 <is> my son. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this yours? <laughs> Tyler, what, uh, uh, how do you think that? More, but, you know, we have guys in the paint still. Scal came in. Marcus is playing really well right now. Um, I didn't even know he could play how he's playing now. And, you know, we're we're looking, looking really good. Charles Matthews, a lot of people don't talk a lot about him. What do you see from his game in open gym, and what can he bring to the table? Um, Charles, he's a sleeper. Um, he's a very athletic guy. He can defend 
really well. So, you know, he's going to finish at the room for us. Uh, his jump shots got a lot better. And, you know, he's going to show, show the world a little bit something that he hasn't yet. Scal? Scal? What do you think of Scal? Oh, Scal. Scal, he's legit. He's real good. Um, uh, I have the same, same feeling I had about Carl when he came in. Um, he's not, I'm not saying he's Carl, but he's a great player, and you know he's really got a close type of game. What about, uh, what about Alex? What are, how motivated do you think he'll be to, uh, you know, to be on that draft stage next year? Um, I really think he's going to be motivated. You know, not being on the play last year, and uh, him not playing, he's probably going right now. So it's great that he's back for us. Um, you know, I feel like he's going to come out hungry ready to play, and he's going to have a big year. Oh,